Hello everyone, this is Fawad. Welcome back to Sandstorm Splash video series. In our previous video, we have set up HA and define our custom virtual machine. Now it's time to define our scan profile and then we will integrate our sandbox with firewall. And at the end, we will test our tailable functionality for dispatcher node. So let's jump into our uh, environment. So in order to define the scan profile, you have to expand and policy and object and my dispatcher node one and the scan profile and these are the following types which i'm going to scan so let me turn on all the files so once you enable these extensions it will start reflecting on your worker node as well so let me associate our virtual machine, which we have defined in our previous video. Select the scan types, and I wanted to scan all the files. These are the software which are installed in my custom virtual machine. Earlier, these software will not reflect here until unless you run one script which is also available on document fortinet documentation and which i have uploaded on my github repository so you can download it from there so let me show you you need to execute this uh, command on this is the command which you need to execute on your fsb1 or dispatcher one and then you will be able to see not not on special one on on worker node on any worker node you can run this command fsp3 or fsb4 whatever you define in your environment so then it will start reflecting here so now we have defined our scan profile and associate our virtual machine here as well so let's apply it and we should be able to see in our worker nodes here you can see everything is reflecting here along with the extension type whatever we have selected now it's time to define our firewall so if that security fabric is not available here you just need to refresh your page then the security fabric will be available so in the device you have to have to authorize your firewall whatever you are going to define here but before going there let me show you the firewall where you have to define this is my parameter firewall one which i have showed in the diagram this is the firewall which i'm talking about so this firewall is going to integrate with our sandbox to the virtual ip and this virtual ip we have defined here when we were configuring our cluster settings so i'm going to use this ip address in order to communicate with my sandbox so let's expand security fabric under fabric connectors. And here in the sandbox, I have already integrated because uh, the result will take time. So I have integrated and generated some alerts. So you just need to double click on it. And here you have to enable the status and define your sandbox server, sandbox IP. So I have already defined. So now, so once you click on security fabric under device, you can see here under the device, there are my couple uh, of firewalls along with uh, the VDOMs which I have configured in the firewall. So it is reflecting here. So just click on any firewall, it will take you inside. Let me click here. All right, so this is my firewall one. So here you just need to authorize it because when you try to integrate with the firewall and from the firewall, if you try to test the connectivity, it will fail in very first step. So you need to go to your firewall, your sandbox FSP one or your special one, and you have to authorize that firewall. So you have to check this box and apply the settings, then you would able to integrate your firewall with the sandbox. 
and also you need to enable this inline block policies so as i have enabled line block policies and just click ok so your all policies should be in line right so once it is done now it's time to generate some alerts so let me jump into my client machine and then i will generate some alert with the help of one test url fortinet is providing all right so this is my test machine and uh, this is the url which is provided by the fortigard just to To test these functionalities so just try to download any file any sample file from here as you can see here it is quarantined and let's try the executable file so it is also proud so you need to generate these alerts multiple times so that it can reflect in your sandbox as well and for sure it will take some time so earlier i have generated some alerts which i am going to demonstrate you now uh, let's go to our firewall not firewall on our dispatcher node this is our dispatcher node so let's look at operation center so here you can see some high risk activities uh, one we have downloaded one ai sample file and one windows executable file so these are the high risk and suspicious activities so it means the sandbox is and this is the ip address of my workstation from where i'm generating these alerts and if you look at the scan performance so here you can see some alerts as some performance on as well same thing you can verify from on which worker node that task is assigned because we have two workers so here you can see one suspicious i activity one is windows xe let's have a look so one a sample is directed to worker two and one agree is directed to worker one And same thing we can verify from our firewall as well. So let me here if we look at here you can see our firewall has detected Windows dot exe and it's sent for analysis. Three minutes ago. and some are clean and some are sent for further analysis so this is how it is working so i hope you enjoy this video so stay tuned keep watching see you in upcoming videos and please don't forget to share these videos thank you